In this video, we're going to be talking about the Thomas Morgan experiment, and we're going to be diving into what he found about sex-linked genes. So the overall purpose of this, or his ultimate goal, was really he found evidence uh, of the chromosome theory of inheritance. So what that means is there was a theory before actually he did this experiment and it was on the chromosome theory. So what they're saying is that you can actually inherit genes that are directly linked to uh, your sex-linked chromosomes. And how he did this is he looked at something called Drosophila. So Drosophila is actually just a common fruit fly. And he found that um, when he took a parent generation, so a parent generation, just think of it like the first uh just like the original, the OG generation. And he took a couple fruit flies. So this is how I'm gonna draw my fruit flies. And the only difference between these two is that one of them has white eyes. So I'll call this one the white eyes and that's the male. And the other one actually has red eyes. So I'm gonna use this red color to symbolize red eyes. So this one right here has red eyes and the other one has white eyes. Now he took these two parent generations and what he did is he mated them together and what he produced is something called the F1 generation. So the F1 generation, think of it like the first generation after the parent generation. And we're gonna look at two of them. So he took two of them, they both came out uh, with red eyes. So I'm gonna fill in the red eyes after this. So this is representing that he took the parent generation both with red eyes and he made it them one more time. And what that produces is something called the F2 generation. And in the F2 generation, this is where things got interesting. So he actually found that uh, every time he mated, there are four different possibilities and it would appear in this frequency where there were two females with red eyes so this right here sorry i forgot to put the female male so there are two females so i'm going to put two f with red eyes so i'll fill in the red eyes so two female fruit flies with red eyes and he also found that there was one red eye male So I'm gonna fill in the red eye. So two females with red eyes, one red eye male. But something that was actually interesting is that he didn't, in the fir first generation, there were not any flies with white eyes, but he found that there was a white eye male. So there was one white eyed male. And this is telling us actually a couple things. One is that it's a recessive. So that means that it's recessive. So Phenotypically, the first generation both had red eyes, but they were carriers for the white eye. And that's when he wanted to dive a little bit further. So he took it and he did something like a Punnett square. So similar to a Punnett square. But of every single time he mated the F1 generation, there was only a male with white eyes. He never got a female with white eyes. And when you do the Punnett squares, you really see why. So I'm gonna put the male on top, female on the bottom. And for the male, you have the XY chromosomes. And for the female, you have two Xs. And he thought that if there were genes that could be passed down that were directly linked to the sex chromosomes, that means that they had to be tied to it. So I'm gonna use capital R for red and lowercase r for, y, or for white. So red is capital R. And we see that when we cross them, we're going to get XR with X lowercase r. Same thing here. And if you look at this, there are no recessive for the white-eyed uh, males. So when they cross, there's only red-eyed males. So he takes basically one of this, which is a red-eyed male, and he crosses it 
with a red eye female. And when he crosses it one more time, let's do another Punnett square. Again, the male is going to be on the top, female is going to be on the bottom. And the male has XY with a capital R for red eyes. The female has two X chromosomes, but one of them is actually a lowercase r. So they're carrying the white eye allele, but they are not exhibiting that. So phenotypically, they are not white, but genotypically, they do carry the white eyed allele. So when you cross them together, you're going to get two females, both of them with a phenotype of red eyes, one male phenotype of red eye, and one of the males is going to be a white eye. And if you look at this, there is no way in the possible combination of crossing the F1 generation to get the F2 that you would produce a female with white eyes. And that's the reason why uh, he proposed this as evidence for the chromosome theory of inheritance and also sex-linked chromosomes or sex-linked genes because if it was linked, that would mean that he there's, it's impossible to get a female with white eyes, and that's actually what he saw.